Hey, what is up guys? Epic Pokemon TCG here. Today, guys, I have an interesting video for you. Uh, this is going to be a video that I've actually already done before, uh, but this time it's going to be a different deck. And uh, a while back that I did a video talking about like building decks for new players, uh, just like a bad deck so they could go against, uh, you know, something that isn't exactly like tier one or something like that so they don't get absolutely demoralized. And you can walk them through the process of how to play, strategies, etc. You know, cards to seek out and just you know all around just some ideas but in this video uh, I hope to inspire at least one person to go through their extras and make a deck so that way they can face some new players kids etc and teach them the game and not make them walk away because they can't win a game uh, I know that was an issue that I had when I first got into it because I was just like oh my god I suck you know what's the point and you know I stuck with it I had a pretty good teacher and he uh, made me keep playing and playing and playing Finally, I got to where I was like, you know what? I'm pretty decent at this game. You know, that's not the case now, but, you know, times have changed. But uh, the reason why I went with the 4-4 Raichu line, of course, is because Pikachu is the John Cena of Pokemon. Pikachu is the head honcho. And I figure a little kid seeing Pikachu get flipped over will probably excite them. And if they love Pikachu, Circle Circuit Raichu is actually not a bad attacker. And it's definitely something that they can play and uh, have some fun with. Uh, normally whenever I play Raichu down, I will only play about 2 or 3 Pokemon on my bench, so I'm hitting about max 60 damage or so. Um, I do play this deck purposely so that they will win, and then while I'm going through the process of all that, I am showing them cards, I am showing them strategy, I'm showing them that trainers and such can help their decks out, teaching them about energy, etc. So yeah, that was the reasoning behind that, that is why I went with this deck, is because Pikachu is definitely a Pokemon that a lot of kids like and I wanted to show them that there is a way to play it and hopefully add a little bit of friendliness as soon as the game starts. Now next up I play a couple of Rangaroon here. The reason why I play a Rangaroon here is because I know that some of the kids in my league have been getting a lot of Sun and Moon cards and so if they do get Sun and Moon cards and they pull a Rangaroon there is an attacker right there that can be splashable in absolutely anything that they build and is actually pretty decent. Instruct is a pretty cool ability and on top of that, Psychic is actually a pretty decent attack that can hit for a lot of damage. And if they start seeing that they're able to hit for about 100 or so, and you know they'll start catching on that you know this card's actually pretty good, and then they will eventually realize that there are better stuff in the format. And you know it's also a very budget-friendly card that is uh, not too bad. Uh, so that is why uh, you know out of the new cards, um, I think Rangaroo is pretty underrated. I think it'll shine next format. But uh, if they do get one of these. You know, they can definitely help their deck out and can probably be like a lot better than some of the attackers they might have. Also on top of that, if they do start with a theme deck, you can take out some of those Pokemon that are just in there for no reason and splash this into a ring or yeah, splash a ring in there, which is actually pretty good. Next up we have a couple of Raikou. Uh, normally whenever I play Raikou against a new player, uh, I'll throw one electric energy and you know it's just a DC, so I'm hitting for only 70 and I won't play anything else down. And uh, that'll allow them to knock it out very easily. And um, it's really about it. You know, knock out a legendary, you get happy. <laughs> uh, same thing here for Lugia. Um, I wanted to show them if they can't afford those EX Pokemon, don't get discouraged because there is stuff out there that can hit EXs for a lot of damage. And you don't have to really worry about it, you know, if you can't get your hands on one of them. So that's why Lugia is in there, just, you know. It's kind of that card to say that, you know, hey, if you can't get an EX or something, that could hit it for a lot of damage. You know, basically, just like that. And then Stunfisk is just a mediocre Pokemon that I put in here uh, because Revenge is actually very good. And it teaches the kids to be aware of what's on their opponent's bench. Be aware that there is stuff, you know, on the bench that is a threat and don't just focus on the active Pokemon. And pay attention to the field, you know. Be aware of what's coming. Be aware of, you know, just what's going on. So Stunfisk very much so helps out with that. And uh, that's really about it. I mean, uh, the cool thing about this is that, you know, if, like I said, if they start with a theme deck, you know, Rangaroo is definitely a very good option, I think, uh, because you can take out, you know, a couple of those random Pokemon that are in there for no reason for supporters. You can put it in there for a Rangaroo, just whatever. And I actually plan on doing a video uh, that is completely dedicated to new players and completely dedicated to teaching them the game and uh, I'm gonna have to partner up with my buddies and they're gonna have to help me out big time with that but that's a video I'm planning and uh, it'll take a while for me to get the whole thing ready but something I'm definitely excited for now for supporters uh, I play one sick of war in here because I don't want to make the deck too good 
and then I play three in as soon as I get all these organized here. There we go. And then, of course, two Lysander. Now, whenever the game's going on, uh, sometimes I won't even draw this, but after the game, I'll show it to them. Um, I want to show them that the, like, these are the supporters you want to go after. These are the staple supporters that are in absolutely everything. Every single deck plays Sycamore in or Lysander, just whatever. Um, that's really it. You know, I want to show them that, that these are the cards you want to go after. And once you get these cards and you start building different decks, you just have to get these one time and that's it. You're done. Unless you want to build multiple things. But um, that's about it. You know, you get Lysanders, you're good. You get a few ends, you're good. You get Sycamores, you're good. It goes in everything. You're good to go. There's your money right there. You don't have to worry about it anymore. So uh, teaching them about supporters. Next up, if they mostly just have stuff from Sun and Moon, uh, I show them three how, show them that this is actually a pretty decent supporter if you don't have anything. It's a little bit of a lesser supporter, uh, but it does, you know, help out your deck with consistency because, I mean, you know, three cards is better than nothing. Uh, same for Professor Kukli. Uh, just to show that you can manipulate damage in this game, you can do a little bit more damage. And uh, you know, it's just a pretty decent card. I just dropped one of them. Um, show them Bridget. Uh, this can help you search out stuff. There are, you know, searching cards in your deck. And in the game in general, that can help you get stuff out. Um, just like... Why did I not organize these? Alright, here we go. Just like Ultra Ball, uh, I play four in here to show them how strong it can be. And then I play a couple Love Ball and one Nest Ball. Uh, I show them the Nest Ball can get those big EXs out if they have them. And then Love Ball can get your lesser Pokemon out. Kind of teach them like uh, what route you should probably go for. Like, you know, just give them suggestions and everything. If they're going for a deck like this, I think Level Ball is the way to go uh, because you can grab everything. The reason why the Nest Ball is in here is because I have stuff in here that isn't uh, 90 HP. Uh, on top of that, I showed them that you know Random Receiver isn't as good as VS Seeker. I don't have VS Seeker in here because I don't want to make the deck too good. And I will actually fake reaction sometimes saying I wish I had VS Seeker, hoping that they ask about what's VS Seeker. Or something like that just so I can tell them you know that's a very good card you want to go after because just like Lysander just like in and just like Sycamore it is a staple that is in every single deck and yeah that's really about it uh, a couple switching cards just because I really 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 encourage them to put switching cards in their deck because uh, most of the time they have these random attackers or they won't set up the right thing or They'll have something stuck in the active spot, just whatever, switching cards. I definitely do phrase those and tell them about them. And I forgot to show another supporter that I had in here. Uh, if they have, you know, just Sun and Moon stuff mostly, is Lily. Um, I do tell them that if all they have is Sun and Moon cards. They're not screwed completely because Sun and Moon is actually a pretty good set. And, you know, you have stuff like a Ranger in there. You have, like, supporters and such. And then you can get older cards for, you know, they're just pretty easily... But Lily is another card, plus you guys know I love Lily. Anyone who watches this channel <laughs> watches some of my deck profiles, you guys know that I love Lily. Uh, a couple energy switch. I wanted to show them that they're a strategy with trainers and such. Uh, I have Raikou, I have Lugia, and I have Oranguru in here. And so I can kind of move the energy around. Uh, this is show them, you know, just, you know, just some strategy basically. Uh, one professor's letter, uh, if they have trouble getting energy to their hand, I wanted to show them that there is a card that can get energy to your hand and thin your deck out a little bit. Uh, I originally had special charge in here, but I ended up taking it out because I needed it for another deck. But uh, I wanted to show them that there is a way to get energy back into your deck and that there is a way to shuffle Pokemon back in your deck. Uh, Super Rod, I tell them, is a very good card because it is. And the same thing goes with special charge or energy retrieval for a new player just to get some energy back. And then one enhanced hammer. Uh, this is so you know you can be cautious with your energy. I teach them you know don't throw down your DCE or your just whatever you have as soon as you see it, because cards like this do exist in the format. And here is the most important part that I I pressure them so much about is don't be dumb with your energy. Don't put in 30 freaking energy because you know you want to. Be smart about it and make sure to really look at you know how much energy you really think you need I tell them that you know don't go over 15 you know uh, some decks can but for the most part you know 10 basic and 4 special is usually about the way to go just whatever you might be comfortable with I think I have 11 in here 
Yeah. I have 11 in here. I just went for 15 energy. I went for something very simple, very straightforward. And um, I will teach them about energy, and I will teach them about the symbols and such, you know, about, like, what can attack, what can't, what, you know, what can do what at certain times. I'll teach them about effects and everything. And, you know, that's that's pretty much about it. You know, like, this deck, like every single card in here has a purpose. Uh, you know, just more so me trying to teach them, you know, strategies and such and help them out. But uh, that's really about it. I'm actually about to take this apart. That's why it's not sleeved. Uh, I'm building a worse deck because I feel like this actually is a little too strong. But at the same time, I think it's good because it's actually kind of a strong deck and could put up a fight. And, you know, they'll feel a little more relieved after the game because they're like, man, I, just, I went through a tough battle, not one. And, yeah. But if you are watching this video, I really, really, really hope that I actually gave you the idea to try this out because I greatly greatly want people to do this because I, I I know how it feels I know how it feels being a new player and you're getting thrashed and you're getting destroyed and you get discouraged and you just don't want to play anymore you know that that sucks you know especially when it happens to a little kid I, I hate that and so just go through your extras I mean if you have a stack of cards from Sun and Moon that I can't find here there yeah if you have a stack of cards from Sun and Moon like this surely surely there's something in there that you can find that you can build and you know just go from there. I mean, I mean, originally I had a deck with, you know, Firo and Butterfree, you know, I had built for little kids, but there, there's, there's definitely options out there, you know, and uh, if you have a lot of, like, lesser supporters lying around and you can make their deck better and you won't need them, you know, definitely consider giving them some cards, getting them started. Um, thank goodness that my league actually has a big gigantic box of just hundreds and hundreds of energy that they give out for free uh, to anyone that needs them you know that's definitely something that I I'm very grateful for uh, because it helps out a lot of those kids get some cards that they might need but if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like it and uh, try this out just you know take some cards that you you know you just don't use and build a deck uh, I'm actually about to build a deck featuring Quagsire and Persian because you know I just want to help out new kids I'll show you guys real quick yeah, that's what I'm about to build. Whoops, one fell. Okay, one fell on the four. But yeah, that's what I'm about to build, uh, just so I have a worse deck to play against kids. But yeah, definitely do try this because you'll feel good. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like it and subscribe to some more content, and I'll have some more stuff for you soon. This is Epic Pokemon TCG signing out. Take care, guys. Yeah, catch them all.